Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 3 Championship Mode for Race 10 and 24. We're going to Pocono. Um, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm, I guess we're trying to go for 10 in a row. I, I didn't think that was possible, but here's our point standings and settings. It's the same as usual. And it is my home track, so it would be cool to win here, irregardless of how many wins I have in a row. So, um... Yeah, I guess all we can do now is just simply go into qualifying and hope we start on the inside line, and I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> well, turn three. I don't really think that was a good lap time in my book. It just kind of felt a little, it just didn't hit our marks good enough. 14th, 50.9. I could have got a couple more tenths out of it, but I'll, I'll take that. Maybe somebody will get put in the back and we can gain more spots or something, but... Well, I really want to be on the inside line because I know we can get a good start and, and have a good day and we're not. Okay. So setup, it's it's eight. And that's because Scout said eight was the the way to go, and I'm gonna take his word for it, so. Okay, so anybody else got DNQ'd? Ross Chastain, okay, well, that was not really Oh, that was it. <laughs> Alright. And since this is such a, a, a wide track, I don't think being on the outside is going to be a problem for us. We can just get right to the bottom right away. I like that. So we have 40 laps. In our fuel runs, it says 10, but we can't go 10 laps. We can only go maybe about 9. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just, I just don't think we can really st stretch it. It's one of those tracks that where it burns more, more fuel per lap. That's why I said lap, like 9 laps. It might be just kind of a, a five-stopper race if it goes green all the way, which I doubt. Are we three wide going into turn two? I think we were for a split second. But yeah, our car is fast, apparently. And the draft is an absolute help, or a godsend of, of ways. Let's take it easy into turn three, even though I am three wide in the middle, which is absolutely terrifying. I clipped into Blaney, almost died. And, whoo, whoo. Okay. Now we just need to get around Harvick and Blaney. As Larson's pulled away. Let's try to peek down low going into turn one. I am maxing. I, I redlined. Holy crap. And that was not a good corner at all. But we somehow, someway managed to keep ourselves in third. Side draft Harvick a little bit. Pull him back. And I do. And I didn't even make contact with him. That was actually pretty damn impressive. Now he's got to make the tunnel turn, as I door hard for no good reason. And turn. And... Oof. Okay. Nope. Okay. Alright. It's going to be a lot harder than I thought to get around Harvard. Then once we do, then we have a clear sailing to, to uh, Larson. And there we go. Yeah, let's, let's just run down Larson. I think we have a car to win again. I didn't think that was... I don't know anymore. This season's, this season's broken me. I don't even know. Good run off turn two, down low on Larson, and oh, we might have it. Just need to get through turn three, all right? There we go, keep it to the bottom. Oh, wow, Larson choked. So, I don't know what he did, but he, he did a, a, a patented Larson choke. Stacked up Harvick and everyone behind him, and we'll, we'll take the lead. All right, let's pull away. Oh, that's, I just killed the outside wall. That's, that's not what I wanted to do. And that, that, that hurt. Now we gotta repair that when I pit. And that's not gonna be fun, because we're gonna lose a lot of time because of that. You know what, I'm actually gonna pit this lap, because obviously if I pit here, we, I'll do it 8, 16, 24, 32, and then that'll be it. And if I stay out a little bit longer, that might hurt us just, just in terms of just undercutting them, so. It's gonna go down now, take it easy. What's the speed? 55, all right. Okay, well, four tires and fuel, and we'll repair the damage, and I'm certain we'll still keep the lead, because we had a good enough gap before then. 16 flat, and estimated time was only not even a... Thanks. Thanks, Joey. Corey. They, they rhymed. I went the third gear way too soon, but yeah, that was... Did that? No, it didn't give me damage. But... <gasps> Larson, hi! Okay, well, I did lose time because of that. Probably because of Corey LaJoy, too, but... Yeah, well, we're going to cycle out second. And thankfully, we can run down Larson. I think we actually have a fast enough car to the point where... It shouldn't be too much of a problem. I, we're just really quick here, I guess. 
the the magic eight slider was what I needed here all along. Because before I always used to use seven here. I guess eight is just that damn good here. I don't know. It's just I used to always have problems uh, being like quick here. Now I, I'm not. I guess I don't. It's just weird. But yeah, we're gonna. I mean, Corley Joy's gonna be leaving payroll. We're gonna obviously get by. Or that's Denny Hamlin. My bad. But yeah, we're already closing out Larson. And it's only just a matter of time until we, you know, get by him. But yeah. So we did lose time. Definitely. Now we just gotta kinda set him up here, get a good run off turn two. And I think we should be able to set him up here for the tunnel turn if we can even. I don't think we'll get by him, but we should maybe at least get this side by side with him. There we go. And pull him back with the side drop. And I guess that I guess that counted. And get through turn two. And new leader. And I'll see you later, Larson. I'll be pitting this lap. Larson pitted on lap 14, and Harvick, we've been pulling away from. It's been pretty disgusting so far. And we'll kind of remain that to be the same sort of thing for this stop, too. So, again, just four tires and fuel, and we should cycle out to the lead and just kind of even have a bigger gap because we don't have Corey LaJoy killing me, and we don't have to repair damage. Pretty standard stop, 15.7. We'll be out the way, and we're third right now, but again, Hamlin, Kligerman, still have the pit. And Harvick, who did take over second just before Larson headed down pit road, so now he will be now in second. And, yeah, everything looks good. It looks like Harvick and Larson are duking it out back there, but it doesn't matter, because we have a big enough lead, we could just chill. All right, Kligerman is down pit road, and Hamlin, I think, is down pit road... Alrighty, okay. Yeah, back into the lead we go again. I'm about to catch lap traffic. <laughs> oh my god, I got, I really don't know what to say. Larson is like pitting every seven laps now, apparently. I don't know why. It can make it a lot longer than that. And him doing that is going to kind of screw himself because he's going to have a pit like an extra time. While myself, I could just kind of go for four. So I, I don't know what is going on or why they're doing it that way, but. It's ultimately screwing themselves pretty royally. There we go. We'll pit again. Got sideways there, but yeah, we're fine. Speed, and 55. Perfect. Again, four tires and fuel. Same as the others. Yeah, I, I got nothing. I don't know what to say. It's just, I'm just crushing it. 16.5. It's actually a little bit slower than our last stop, but not like it matters. Um... Yeah, we'll cycle through and be in the lead again, and everything will be fine. <laughs> okay, I gotta give Harvick's pit crew this. They were about five seconds behind me, and now it's down to four. So, they, they closed in a little bit, and then there's a yellow. And it's right at our fuel window, but it's still so early. Nobody can really make it on fuel, though. Oh my god, this is awkward. <laughs> um, oh boy. I mean, even with those guys pitting, they're still gonna be able to make it on fuel. We're going to be going with like 13 to go. We're still, yeah. I think it's just in our best interest to stay out. That's, that's at least what I'm going to do. We pinned a lot of people lap down, I think. Not really. Okay, never mind. Chase Selly and Clint Boyer with bad days, but yeah, we're just going to, we're just going to stay out and just hope because it, it's not really going to benefit us pitting there. Because everybody's still going to have to pit one more time, but. We'll restart here and get a great jump off the start because our car is just disgusting when it comes to that. And we did just pit. 12 to go. Yeah, everybody's got to pit one more time. So we'll just kind of cruise for now, pull away, and I don't know, just kind of see how this unfolds. It's kind of definitely threw things for a loop now. I wasn't expecting that. It was going very good for such a long time. I'll pit this lap, I just hit two on the fuel, and I think this might be the best call just to kind of undercut the field a little bit. And there we go, 55. We're going to go with four tires and fuel just because I, we definitely need to hear Pocono. We're just going to put in enough fuel to make it to the end, and that'll about do it, I think. 15.8 seconds, so that's not really good. Um, the only thing I'm worried about... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to cycle out first. Am I going to cycle out first? What is with the, I The level of luck is disgusting this season. I have no words. I have no words. That was perfect. 
Ow! <laughs> oh my god. That is unbelievable. Okay, well... Um, I'll see you all in victory lane, I guess, because we have this race under wraps. Three to go. We're good on fuel and tires and everything. I, I, I don't even know what to say. That, that's just unbelievable how that just played out so damn well. White flag's out, and I'm more interested in just how the leaderboard's been shaken up. I, for a second, that David Reagan was fifth. And now Jamie McMurray's second. And Jimmy Johnson now is fifth. I think that might be his first top five all season. I don't know. It's been weird, but... We're good. I don't even know what to say. This race has been kind of like a typical Pocono race. Just, just boring. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to even say. I, I just, I really don't. It's just, we were really good. And some of the AI just messed up on pit strategy and kind of pitted like a lap earlier than they should and kind of got things out of whack. But then again, our car was just so good to begin with that it, it just didn't even matter. But yeah, off turn four. Um, turn four. That What turn four? <laughs> we'll win again. Ten in a row. <laughs> what is this? And then we're going to win at Sonoma, too, so that's going to be 11 in a row. I, I just don't understand. Why is this season so damn OP? Was I just... this? Was I just... Is the scout... Is the scout slider just that damn good? That That's what I needed all along to become the NASCAR Heat 3 master? Like, I'm just, I'm very perplexed. Well, there's our first caution, I think, and it's for Chase Elliott blowing up, and Osnil almost killed him. And it was McMurray. So McMurray went from drilling Austin El Chase Elliott, and, yeah, and Elliott got hit again. How was that not a yellow? I'm, I'm, I don't know. But a lot of people hit him, including his own teammate, and Byron. <laughs> All of Hendrick nearly died in turn two. That was pretty funny. So on lap 28, Stenhouse blew an engine? Stenhouse can went from blowing an engine to finishing in the top five, top ten? How? Oh, my head. I can't comprehend the stupid. Finishing results. I, I don't even know what to say. I, I honestly don't. I, I'm just out of words. Big Murray got four. Stenhouse fifth after blowing up. I saw Dave Reagan tenth. He's gonna finish. He's gonna gain more points in the standings. He's just that good, apparently. Well, Harvick is up there too, and he didn't really fit him. He was he ran good all race, but that last yellow just kind of screwed everything up. He's seventh. He's he. Dave Reagan is is now. Oh my God. Trex is third, so that's cute. But this has been. I don't know. Now I'm just rooting for David Reagan to get a top 10 in the points. I, that, that's what I want. So we get the... It's a 2017 Pocono trophy. That's not accurate. I don't even know what to say. I think we led the most laps by... A, a, a just a, an astronomical margin. We had to lead like 30 plus laps. Yeah, we, or we led exactly 30. Stenhouse from 28th to 5th and the biggest loser might have been... Okay, Chase, so... After that, we'll go to Sonoma. More than likely win there. And then we can try to... See, Kentucky, too, is another one of those races where I just... I'm not sure. But then again, I've been proven wrong this entire season, so I don't know. Then after that, there's a lot of races where I'm almost certain we can win. Like, you know, New Hampshire, Indy, Watkins Glen, Michigan, Darlington. Richmond's the only one, as well as Kentucky, at least for the foreseeable future that I think I'll have a hard time winning. So, as long as I can win those two, we might damn near sweep the whole season. That's what I want to do at this point. That's like our goal, <laughs> is trying to somehow, some way sweep the whole season. That would be absolutely insane, and I want to see if I can do it. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave, 500 Champ 15, Racing News Now, Alan Gray, More Sports Games, Robert Dillon, and Zach Page for a donation again. I can't thank guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel every single month like this. It does me a lot, and like usual, it just I very much appreciate it, and it does go a long ways for me. I'll see you all next part for Sonoma. I don't, I don't really know how that will go, but maybe I'll win there. If so, I won't be shocked. I'll see you all next part, and I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.